Slept. Actually, I really needed it because I hadn't been sleeping well the last few days because I've been so busy making my way downtown, walking fast. Anyways, um, it is 1 p.m. and I'm so hungry. I'm gonna get changed though. Not changed, I'm gonna get dressed. You know how I told you guys I was gonna be going to Auto Mix on Sunday? Um, so I changed the reservation from Sunday to today, which is Friday. So I'm really, really excited. Um, as you know, my friend Danielle works there. So I hope she'll be serving me and I'm really excited. Um, I've heard amazing things about Auto Mix. Obviously it's also Korean, contemporary style. So I'm very, very stoked. I'm actually not a big, I wouldn't say not a big fan of, but more like I've never had the luxury to really enjoy fine dining because it is quite expensive. And, um, you know, since my friend works there, it was a good push and I, I met the team as well, so I couldn't say no. Some might think I'm going on a run, but in reality, I'm running to get food. My biggest issue while traveling is I don't have a routine, like my routine gets broken and I'm also just like, I forget to drink water, which is really concerning. I just subsist off of coffee, so I break out. It seems to be the same spot as before, my massive pimple. Um, yes, it does end up just kind of fading away, but it is really annoying. I need to be better at drinking water and staying on top of routine and not overexerting myself, but you know, I'm kind of on vacation, so I drink like three, four cups of coffee. Yellow. <laughs> Honestly, not as good as I remembered. I mean, for nine bucks, this is a lot of food. It's also so fun to just people watch. There's so many different kinds of people here, you know? I think that's like what's really interesting about New York. Like, everyone's so different. And I like that a lot. I'm literally gonna have the worst time. I just know because not oh, hot sauce on my mask. <laughs> I'm gonna be like breathing in fumes. Also, whatever this white sauce is, it's most likely ranch. And to think that I'm like eating ranch rice is pretty gross, but it's good. Mm. Honestly, I was thinking about it again, and for nine dollars, like I don't, I don't know, I don't think I like halal guys. I'd rather have chipotle. Is that a hot take? I don't know, but it's just meat was too dry. Like, sauce was just okay. Execution was hard too. So overall, I don't know, it wasn't great. I just finished editing. I feel like shit, but I'm gonna shower, get ready, and look like this.
Mommy cleans up nice, eh? So I'm actually gonna be dining alone because I don't have a date. But it'll be fun. <laughs> I mean, I'm mostly going to support my friend, so it'll be fine. Like, I don't care. Actually, no, it's the first time I'm di dining at a fancy restaurant alone, so I'm a little, I'm a little nervous, but it'll be fun. It's a whole part of the growing process, and I'll be with you guys, the doobie community. Back is from APC, coat is from Anne Clyde, I think, from my mom. Reformation and obviously more showers. When I say it's nerve wracking, it's actually extremely nerve wracking. And I also feel like I slightly overdressed, even though it's a really fancy restaurant, so. <laughs> I fuck my life. Oh my god, why am I so self conscious? Definitely a great value because you're going to so expensive. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, that's good, that's good. You can stop there. And did you have a preference for water tonight? Do you want a sparkling still or regular filter? Um, sparkling would be great. <laughs> There's a pumpkin and apricot crisp that's mm -hmm. being served with a little bit of water on this. There's also some pea tangles to serve them on the inside. And we're finishing up the top here with a clear lime leaf powder. Okay, great. Thank you. I'll take this one. Very ergonomic. It matches your dress. Wow. Thank you. It's so pretty. Oh, oh it's so pretty. Everything is so pretty. If you like what I notice usually when I go to a lot of Western restaurants that use yuzu is that it's like way too citrusy, too much citrus. So it's like, okay, like we get it. You're, you use yuzu, like good for you. But I love like a little hint of it where it's not overpowering and I feel like that's like this dish is like the perfect amount of citrus. It's not like in your face, but just enough to really tingle your like aromatics. Does that make sense? Well, it doesn't make sense. Mm. I'm also so happy to see my friend work. It's weird because like I never see her in professional settings. I just know her as a piece of shit. But my piece of shit. I don't think I've ever seen blue row before. Look at the colors on this is so pretty. What did you say this blue row was? Where is it from? Oh, uh, it's yeah. a shrimp row. Yeah. Oh. It's actually the actual shrimp Okay, okay. It tastes a lot like mentaiko. Mm. Mm. Yeah. This is incredibly good. This is so odd because it's like, it has smoked aubergine in it, so it's like baba ganoush, but also a lot of like the very cold, and sweet Hokkaido shrimp on top. So I feel like it's like merging warm flavors and cold flavors together. Mm. Mm. That's so good, wow. I would think that smoked aubergine would go well with Asian cuisine because, you know, it's something that I only associate with a lot of Arabic food, like Turkish food, but it just worked so well, especially with seafood, and that's not a combination I've ever thought of before. Mm -hmm. 